to me about it. chilly today. Yeah, so things are in motion for me today on this chilly day, which is ridiculous because yesterday it was like 80 degrees and today is like 40. But today I'm going to get an air filter from my back. My back. I need one anyway because I've never changed the the one that came with the bike. But uh, this one specifically, well, so it's a used one, but it's a uh, it's one of the Sprint air filters. So it's one of those where it's pretty much good for life. It's only got like 500 miles on it, so it's basically brand new. In my opinion. Dang, man, I might have messed up with the gloves. I am chilly. Yeah. They asked for a rev, so I gave it to him. I don't know if the rest of his crew wanted that, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> yeah, so I'm getting this filter specifically because it was on my list as far as things that I was actually going to do the bike. After this, I need to get uh, block off plates and then I'm going to go over to Antoine's and we're going to take off all the emission stuff and then it's time to have the bike dyno tuned. Yes it is. And I'm ready for it. I've had my exhaust for over a year now, I guess. I don't know how long it's been. I mean basically the entire riding season last year for sure. I guess it was a little bit before that too. Now I'm thinking about it. I don't remember when I got my exhaust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boop. So yeah, you know we got that stimulus money. A lot of that is going just towards credit card debt. It's the worst. But with the rest of it, I was approved to go ahead and get my bike tuned. So I'm pretty excited about it. It kind of sucks too because we have been working on trying to figure out a way to get KN's bike back. If you guys remember, we had to sell KN's bike because she had two knee surgeries. She wasn't going to be able to ride for a year. Well, she's at the point now where she can totally ride and Cool Springs, the place that we sold her bike to, uh, they still have it. And it's because <laughs> they marked it really high for whatever reason they basically marked it for the same price as a brand new one like one of the new models I, I don't know I don't know what that's about but point is it's still there and we have been trying so hard to get it back and I don't think it's gonna happen unless we have some kind of you know, mystery donor to give us some money get it back if we have any rich fans out there that want to give us some money to reunite KN with her bike you know that'd be cool I don't think that's gonna happen so we have pretty much given up on it we were we kind of got our hopes up at the fact of uh, getting it back and everything but we would still have to do a loan <sighs> I'm not gonna get into finance stuff at all but it just it didn't work out that's all you need to know soon Chick-fil-A yeah well 
I just want to say thank you to everyone that bought a shirt. That has been awesome. Speaking of shirts, I am going to start working on the Jam It Josh shirts soon. <sighs> My glasses are fogged up. That's fantastic. But I'm not 100% sure when I'm actually going to get them done. I still have to make the design and everything and then send them over to the t-shirt guy. And then however long it takes them to get it going from there. Because I'm sure he'll have to do some stuff. I don't know. But yeah, not only that, we got to come up with the money for it too. So <laughs> there's that. But I think it would be pretty cool. Also, I'm just going to throw this out there. Uh, we're going to be doing a build series for Antoine's new bike. And it's going to be ridiculous. So I'm kind of curious. What do you guys want me to do? Do you want me to do them all like back to back multiple videos a week just about his build series? Or should I spread them out and just kind of do them as I go? Like whenever I get one of the videos recorded, should I work on it?